eraser yo-yo, a school supply cup with a catapult, a turtle stapler, and a pen that looks like a magic wand? Find out how to make unusual anti-stress school supplies in our new video! Redhead prepared something unique. She gives Jessica a marker. What's so special about this? It's just a marker! But Redhead starts blowing bubbles out of the marker like a magician. Take the plug and the wadding out of a marker. Cut the wadding. Put a little piece of it back. Hot glue a container with soap bubble liquid into the body of the marker. Color the hybrid of a marker and soap bubble container with acrylic paint. Cover the body with decorative tape. Coat the caps of the marker and the container with clear nail polish. What a soapy surprise! It turns out that this marker is made of bubbles! Let's turn the class into a bubble show! Miss Elizabeth turned out to be a fan of blowing bubbles. She also wants to try out the magical marker. Oh, now we get it! Our soap bubble show is over! Miss Elizabeth will continue it on her own! Jessica needs an eraser, but there is nothing she can use on her desk. Miss Elizabeth sees her students having trouble. So she gives them her invention. It's an unusual yo-yo eraser. Take two disc-shaped erasers and make holes through them. Connect them with a screw. Leave a little gap between the erasers. Thread a nut onto the other side. Decorate it with rhinestones. Wrap 20 inches of thread around the screw in the middle. Fasten it with a knot. Make a loop for a finger at the end. The girls really like this new model of eraser. It's a toy and a school supply at the same time. The yo-yo lands on a notebook and erases everything unnecessary. And the learning process turns into a fun game right away. Miss Elizabeth takes out an unusual model of a pyramid. The girls love it! They want to make the same one with markers. But it's pretty difficult. Markers and pencils fall and gravity wins! Then, Redhead decides to benefit from the laws of physics. She takes out magnetic markers. Hot glue little magnets to marker caps. Apply hot glue to add dimension. Even out the layer with the hot nozzle of a glue gun. Do the same on the other end of the marker. Color it with acrylic paints. Coat with clear nail polish and sprinkle with glitter. Make magnetic tips on all the markers and connect them to build figures. With this invention, the markers can easily make a pyramid. The magnetic force keeps them together. You can create different shapes. Let's compare what's better, Miss Elizabeth's model or our pyramid made from regular markers. The girls have something unusual. Are these magic wands? Nope. These are just glittering pens. Apply drops of hot glue onto a pen. Fill the top part. Then apply an even layer of hot glue. Coat it with clear nail polish. And apply pearl powder. Cover it with one more layer of clear nail polish on top. These glittering pens look a lot like fairy tools. We can use them for all sorts of magical games. It's a pity that we can't enchant the class so that it'll end quicker. Breaking news! There's a new guy in our class. He walks like the ghost of Hamlet's father. Sit down, don't be nervous. Unfortunately, Ben forgot a pen on his first day of school. Christy has a few, but she doesn't want to share. Christy, where's your compassion for newbies? All right, fine. Christy takes out her stock of anti-stress tools. These are soft, squishy pens. Cut the edges off a clear plastic cover. Place cutouts of a diamond and a unicorn's horn underneath. 
trace them with a marker. Cut the pieces out and be sure to leave allowances for fastening. Put them onto parchment paper. Carefully seal the edges using an iron. Color polyester stuffing with different acrylic paints. Cut off the corner of the piece and stick a pen refill inside. Fill the horn with white stuffing. Put in glitter and stars and seal the edge with an iron. Put colored stuffing into the diamond piece layer by layer. Then finish it the same way we did the unicorn horn. Color the tip of the horn with a permanent marker. Then choose what you want to write with, a diamond or a unicorn horn. These are some nice school supplies. The unusual pens are so beautiful. Plus, they help the newcomer calm his fingers. It looks like Ben has found his first friend at his new school. Christy has a whole bunch of school supplies on her desk. It's high time to clean everything up. There is no room left in her pencil case, but an organizer comes to the rescue. What an adorable hedgehog! Mix one cup of salt with two cups of flour. Dissolve two tablespoons of white glue in a cup of water. Combine the ingredients. Make dough and refrigerate it for two hours. Crumple foil to make a ball. Shape a frame for a hedgehog. Place it onto a round foil stand. Roll out the dough to make a thin layer and wrap it around the frame. Cut off the excess. Make holes in the dough using a pen. Remove the excess with a modeling tool. Roll dough and cut it into pieces. Shape cones to be hedgehog spines and attach them to the body. Make a nose and eyes. Dry out the hedgehog in an oven for five hours at 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Take the foil out of the hedgehog when it's ready. Hot glue the stand. Color the hedgehog with acrylic paints. Christy brags about her school pet. This hedgehog is my desk keeper. It will quickly clean up this mess. Put all your pens and pencils in it. But unfortunately, not everything can fit into this spiky creature. Ben has an idea. He has an additional tool to fight pens. It's a school supply cup with a catapult. Cover the inside of a cardboard tube with a soft foam sheet. Decorate the outside with felt. Wrap a little bobbin in felt. Glue a piece of a glittering soft foam sheet to an old CD. Stick a plastic plug into a spring. Bend a paper clip to make a letter M and attach it to the other side. Stick the spring into the bobbin. Make cuts and attach the paper clip to fasten the spring. Weave a cord into a rubber mat. Leave loops for school supplies. Cover the cardboard tube with the mat. Tie the cord. Attach the bobbin with the spring to the CD base and then attach the tube. Glue soft foam sheet rings on top of the bobbin and the tube. Make a cap for the school supply cup from a glittering foam rubber sheet. Make two holes in it. Pass a loop through them. Tie knots. Put pens and pencils into the side loops. Make pens fly using the spring. It looks like a regular school supply cup at first sight, but once you put an extra pen in it, it flies out like a bullet. Wow! Miss Elizabeth didn't expect an aerial attack. Ben's secret catapult is ready to shoot pens. And it doesn't last long. Miss Elizabeth takes his stress-relieving weapon away. What's up with this amazing turtle? It's a regular stapler with slime inside. 
cut a triangular template out of cardboard. Trace it four times on red felt. Cut it out. Make three holes in each triangle. Hot glue the facets so that you get a turtle shell. Cut turtle body parts from light felt. Hot glue them to the shell. Cover the seams on the shell with yarn. Decorate it with a star. Attach beads to be eyes. For the slime, mix five spoons of cornstarch, coloring, and a tablespoon of body lotion. Put in a spoon of dishwashing detergent and three spoons of stationary glue. Mix the ingredients and pour in some water. Add borax. Knead the soft slime. Cut the neck off a plastic bottle. Fit a balloon onto it and put in slime. Tie the balloon and put it into the turtle shell. Hot glue a felt belly. Cut four triangles out of the same felt. Group them into pairs. Make a cut in one half and hot glue a zipper to it. Fasten all the pieces together. Hot glue thick cardboard to the bottom of the basket that you get. Attach a zipper to the side. Decorate the cardboard piece with felt. Hot glue the other side of the zipper to the turtle's belly. Attach pieces of Velcro to both sides. Hot glue the other halves of Velcro to a mini stapler. Place it inside. Open up the bottom zipper and easily fasten paper with a stapler. It turns out that this turtle stapler is not one of a kind. Jessica has the same one. Now it's a turtle zoo. These animals are cute and handy. They can fasten paper and relieve stress. Jessica has brought something soft and bright into class. It's a squishy macaroon, and there is an eraser hiding in it instead of a filling. Cut a ring out of cardboard. Trace it on foam rubber. Cut out a circle. Make a hollow inside the circle. Smooth out the edges by trimming them. Cut out one more piece the same way. Cut a ring out of a piece of a cloth white following the template. Color the details with rubber paint. Hot glue the cloth ring to the foam rubber piece. Attach a round container into the hollow. Hot glue the cap into the other half. Put an eraser into the container. Close the squishy macaroon. Redhead wants to try out the magical macaroon too. This organizer is so cute and soft. It wins Redhead's heart and she doesn't want to give it back. Jessica was ready for the twist of events. That's why she made one more squishy macaroon, but it's even bigger. Trace a heart on thick cardboard. Draw a circle starting from the center of the heart using a compass. Cut out a circle and a heart. Trace the template on foam rubber. Cut the piece out with a utility knife. Cut out a few more foam rubber circles. Trace the template on a soft cloth wipe. Cut it out. Hot glue two circles and the cloth piece together. Separately, hot glue a circle and a foam rubber piece with a heart. Make sloping edges with scissors. Color the foam rubber with rubber paints. Hot glue a plastic heart case inside. Put paper clips into it. Connect two halves of the macaroon. This big squishy organizer stores treasures inside. Jessica loves her soft school supply macaroon. 
and the miniature organizer doesn't seem so good anymore. Redhead would love to exchange it for a bigger one. Did you like our anti-stress school supplies? Then write in the comments which school ideas you liked the most. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so that you don't miss new anti-stress school supplies on Troom Troom.